Hear the happy feet dancing to the beat of the Freddy. Wow. Freddy got fingered. What a great movie, Matt. Uh, z- uh, no. <laughs> this was number two, everybody. This was number two, alternatively titled Fifty Shades of Grey, the horror version. Yeah, there was like some weird homoerotic stuff in there. There's a lot of kinky shit in this movie. Apparently, the actor was gay and uh, tried and acted as if he was like in the closet like the whole time, which is interesting. Although, I don't know if you watch it in that context, it's kind of discriminatory. What do you mean? Well, because, like, like, in the end, he ends up, like, he's like, oh, fight back, defeat it, and then get with the girl Mm -hmm. at the end. So it's kind of anti-gay if you take Freddy as, like, a symbol of him being closeted gay. That wasn't my that wasn't my interpretation. That was the actor's interpretation. I'm just saying, if you take it that way, it's sort of anti-gay. Okay, I see. Apparently, whenever he did the dance and he started like doing the, uh, apparently yeah, he uh, had like the pop gun. He had the <laughs> pop gun. It was like, oh, that symbolism. Apparently, that was popular in gay bars in the mid '80s for a while because the actor was gay. So, who knew? <laughs> gay, <laughs> gay. Um. So, uh. This film gave me, uh, I was sad because the beginning sucked. Like, the opening sequence with the bus was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Uh, Uh, It was dumb. It was really dumb and ruined the mood because the first one had some, I thought it was going to be cheesy, and then there were some generally things that, like, shocked me. Like, the part where she's on the ceiling and stuff. This opens with a bus and then they're, like, in a ravine. What is that even? Yeah. But but I'm mad because I wanted to hate the whole thing. But there were some really great yeah, there's some stuff in this movie that in a better movie would have been great. Like the scene where you open the door and there's the girl, like, jumping rope and stuff and singing the Freddy thing? That was like a shining this moment. This is good. And then, like, the next scene he's in, like, the kitchen, and there's a drawing behind him of a girl jumping rope. That was good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's the scene where he, he kills his friend Grady, and then, like, you know, it's like the death where it's like, you know, comes through the door and stuff, and his parents are like, ah, oh, that was great. And then for every scene of that, there's like, oh, jeez, some really bad deaths. <laughs> what are some of the other ones? Well, uh, when his coach gets BDSM died. Oh, yeah, with the, with the, the rat, the rat tail tail. It's like, oh, don't be gay or you'll get killed by Freddy. <laughs> don't do it. Remember, kids. <laughs> <laughs> don't be gay or Freddy will kill you. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh, man. This feels like there was, like, not a good horror movie, but, like, a decent horror movie that was not a sequel to Nightmare on Elm Street in there. Yeah, it's like he broke all the rules in the second one. It's like, you know, all these, they seem to, like, just throw out the formula, or they throw out the first one real quick. Like, in Halloween, it's like the second one, oh, Jason's the killer. The first one, Mrs. Voorhees was the killer, right? That was Friday the 13th. Shut up and shut up. Shut up. Shut, shut up. And uh, in this one, it's like, it, you know, they throw off the premise real quick. And in this one, it's like he's supposed to be in dreams and stuff. And then the second one, they're right to, oh, he's not in dreams anymore. He's a person. Yeah, he's trying to take over this kid's that body. That should have been like the fourth one. He's trying to take over a kid's body so he can kill people. And he's like, oh, kill people for me. Why is... What? It's, oh, oh, that's that's my camera. Never mind. <laughs> wow, great job. Um, yeah, it like he's trying to take over his body so he can kill people in real life. He could already kill people in yeah, their dreams. Throw them on the ceiling. Fifty gallons of blood everywhere. <laughs> nope. we, might, we might have to wrap this up. I don't think there's much room left on my SD card. Oh my gosh, Matt! Congratulations. <laughs> uh. Uh, Nancy's not... I don't... It's called Freddy's Revenge. Who's he getting revenge on? Nancy's not in this one. He's getting revenge on the viewer for being gay. (laughs) Yes. I mean, granted, after what happened to Alice and Lori, I wouldn't appear in the sequel either. Alice and Lori? The final girls from the other two movies. Which reminds me. Guess which day this is coming out, because I'm releasing them in chronological order. Guess which day this is. Elm, Elm Street Day? 
This is day 10. Mm -hmm. It took 10 days to get to Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Was there a long time? Well, the first one didn't come out till 84. Okay. And there were already four Nightmare on Elm Street movies before the first one came out. And then they got a fifth one out before the sequel. Hi. Sorry. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shower so you can continue on. Sweet, thank you. All right. Uh, cut. Cut. Do you, do you have any? Do you have any final thoughts on Nightmare on Elm Street Two? Kids, don't be gay. <laughs> or Freddy will kill you. Isn't that right, Freddy? Matt, they can't see that. <laughs> see up and down? I did like the, uh, one more thing. I did like the fact that uh, it went from him slicing someone to them slicing tomatoes because apparently these are actually tomato knives, like on his hand. Huh. Yep. Symbolism. Symbolism. I have a story that I'd like to tell about this guy. You all know me as me scared as hell. He comes to me at night after I call into bed. He's burnt up like a weenie and his name is Fred. Shows up when I'm asleep. I